Uh, Sefton Novice is hurdle. And on the run to the first, King's Place, dark green jacket on the near side, prominent. Lishnagar Oscar on the far side. And Trevelyan's Corn with a hoop sleeves keen as they arrive at the opening flights, which they've all taken neatly enough. Walk away with the black sleeves at the back of the field uh, very early. Well clustered up, however, with now two complete circuits of the hurdles course ahead of them. And it's Trevelyan's Corn who has a slender advantage to... Lishnagar Oscar up the rail, King's Place in third. Then Champagne well in a yellow jacket, Paddy Brennan close up in fourth to Downtown Getaway in the green and white diamonds, the captain's in on the inner. Ard Lethen in the black and white is a little wider out to Arthur Mack, red jacket, shadowing champ, Mark Walsh in the McManus hoop. Stalisto picked on maroon jacket deeper out, walk away has made a position and Emmy Tom uh, the unbeaten gelding at the back of the field early in the diamonds of maroon and orange. So heading away towards the first of the three flights over in the back straight, Trevelyan's Corn, who still hasn't really settled through the early part of the race, with a small lead over King's Place on the far side. Lishnagar Oscar jumping more fluently there than King's Place. Champagne Well is right behind them with downtown getaway and Arthur Mack and Dallas they picked on, who's out widest of all, and then Ard Lethen. So they go to the next on the far side. Champagne well made a mistake at that one. One more to jump over on the far side for the first time, flight four. Still well clustered up with Emmy Tom, the overall back marker, and Champ waited with about three quarters of the way back as Trevelyan's Corn and Harry Cobden close in on the last flight in the back straight. Lishnagar Oscar jumping fluently to join the leader. Champagne well much more accurate on that occasion. Yellow jacket. King's place in the dark green is close up. Then downtown getaway in the green and white. Still Dallas Day picked on, circling the field from Arthur Mack and the captains in. Ardleth in the black and white jacket. Just a half length away to Champ and then walk away and Emitom. So they travel on down the side of the course on the long run between flights of four and five. Trevelyan's Corn with Lishnagar Oscar on his inner. And then King's Place, downtown getaway, improving into fourth in the hands of Nico de Boinville. And Dallas Day picked on under treble seeking Jack Kennedy, going a bit closer in the maroon jacket, shadowing Arthur Mack. And then the captain's in away to the right on straightening. Champagne Well has just drifted back into midfield ahead of Ard Lethen and Champ, who's still waited with. Emmy Tom and Walkaway remain the final two, and they're all safely over flight five. So the next brings them to the end of a circuit in this Doombar Seft and Novices hurdle. Trevelyan's Corn landing just a half length up on Lishnagar Oscar. King's Place and Dallas Day picked on towards the near side with Downtown Getaway in the green and white diamonds stalking the leaders. And then Arthur Mack in a red jacket. The captain's in, buried away on the inner of Champagne, well rising. Champ and Ard Lethem with the next pair over. And still Emmett Tom and walk away with the black sleeves. The final pair with the whole field covered by little more than half a dozen lengths as they go beyond the halfway point and head under the judge with one more circuit to travel and a further six flights of hurdles to jump. Trevelyan's Corn, Harry Cobden, Pink Jacket into the next bend. Delishnagar Oscar on the inner of King's Place, second and third. And then right behind them, downtown getaway, racing in fourth position towards the inner. Out wide, Dallas Day picked on. The captain's in in a pale jacket, cutting the corner. Arthur Mack in the red silks is next from Champagne Well. Champ still under a very patient ride from Mark Walsh of the hoop silks towards the inner of Ard Lethen as they swing across the far side. And Emmy Tom remains at the back of the field with Walkaway, but both still firmly in touch as they come to the first of the trio of flights in the back straight uh, once again. Trevelyan's Corn out jumped comprehensively there by Lishnagar Oscar. Trevelyan's Corn kicking it to the ground. King's Place on the far side is close up. Arthur Mack has travelled well at a big price. Red Jacket right behind them, but they've gone very steadily so far. Walk away remains at the back of the field, but little more than five or six lengths off the leaders as they now enter the final mile of this Doombar Sefton novices hurdle and head towards four out. They're almost three in a line. Lishnagar Oscar on the near side of Trevelyan's Corn. King's Place is a little deeper out. Then downtown getaway and Arthur Mack, the captain's in on the inner, was in tight to it. Champ sauntering up behind the leaders. Walsh just having to take a little bit of a pull as uh, Champ tugs his way up there and the captain's in against the fence 
was short of daylight and it's knocked him right back through the field and I think he's going to be pulled up immediately. The captain's in is out of the race but the others are still tightly concertinaed as they run down the side of the course inside the final three quarters of a mile and they make the long gallop towards the third last. Lishnagar Oscar narrowly ahead as they swing back towards home to Trevelin's Corn. Then Dallas Doe picked on Maroon Jack. It hard left and out wide inching into it. The black and white. Downtown getaway on the end of his stable mate champ within a couple of lengths of the lead. Then Champagne Well and Arthur Mack walk away with the black sleeves improving. Emmy Tom, the maroon and orange is finessed into it. King's Place has lost his position. Over three out. Lishnagar Oscar from Trevelin's Corn. Away to the left, hard left and further left. Champagne Well. Dallas Day picked on Maroon Jacket, and here comes Champ now breezing into it. Over two out, Lishnagar Oscar, but Champ has sauntered alongside. Then Champagne Well, Emmy Tom in the Maroon and Orange is closing in. Walk away, the Black Sleeves is staying on under pressure, but Champ has gone to the front as he comes to the final flight, and he skips over a couple of lengths clear. A mistake from Emmy Tom, a furlong left to cover on the flat. It's Champ in front by three or four lengths. Emmy Tom recovering his poise, is staying on stoutly in second. Lishnagar Oscar is back in third, a half furlong to go, and it's Champ by three lengths. Emmy Tom isn't getting any closer, and Champ lives up to his name and wins the Dunbar Sefton Novices Hurdle. Emmy Tom in second, Lishnagar Oscar in third, walk away in fourth, and then Arthur Mack, who ran a huge race to finish fifth.